and my name is Lady Iris. I took you guys last time on how to measure a sleepless gown. Today I will be taking you on how to cut and sew a sleepless gown. I hope you liked my last video. If you do, please click on the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. I will be so happy to have you watch all of my videos. Thank you. So now for cutting, you need a scissors, you need a measuring tape, you need a tailor chalk. This is not a tailor chalk, but I'm going to be using this because I couldn't get a chalk. And you'll be needing pins. So, to start your cutting, you first measure your fabric using the measurements you've taken. So you fold your fabric this way, you fold it the back of the fabric, so this is the front of the fabric and this is the back. So you fold your material into two. The first measurement you take is your length. You take the length of the material. But to make your work easy, you can pin your material together so you get a right and perfect measurement for cutting. Because our material is not too long, we'll be making use of the length of the material. The length. The length of the material is 34. So let's assume the length of our dress is 33, we need one inch sewing allowance. For our bending allowance. Then the next measurement you take is the shoulder. The shoulder is 14, you divide the shoulder by two. This way, from the edge of the material, shoulder divided by 2, 14 divided by 2 is 7. So you mark it out. Don't forget, you are supposed to use a tailoring chalk, not a marker. So the next step is you trace your bust. Remember, I told you. From shoulder to bust is usually seven, eight, nine inches, depending on how tall or how fat your client is. So I'll be making use of seven inches. So this is our point of bust. Then the point of waist is 15. And the point of EP is 21. Now we measure our bust. Our bust here is 38. 38 divided by 4. We have 9.5. You place your tape here. You mark your 9.5. Then you had one and a half inch sewing allowance. You mark it. Then you go to your waist. Don't forget the point of our waist is 15. So here we have waist, waist measurement to be 33. Then 33 divided by 4, we have 8.25. Place it this way, you mark. Then you add your one and a half inch sewing allowance. Then the hip. We have 41 divided by 4. We have 10.25. You place. 
to mark have your allowance 1.5 inch so this is how you get your measurements then now you trace your shoulder to the point of the bust that will give you your hand or this way you can use your ruler to get a straight line then you make an hack the next step is to trace your marked areas to form the shape of the dress I hope you can see what I'm doing this is where you determine after the hip area this is where you determine if your gown is going to be a fitted a pencil gown or a free gown so we are making a pencil gown so you use your ruler to get the straight line you can see this is what it will give you now the next step is to cut your marked area with a scissors don't forget you're cutting the arc we've made here so that it will give you a curvy arm o so this is what we have after cutting this is what we have so this would be the front of our dress now we are going to cut the back side you get your material and fold it into two now you don't need to take the measurements all over again you just place the first material you cut on the second material you align it very well make sure you use your pin to hold the material so you can get your actual measurements now I'm going to leave a space here one inch allowance for zip here before cutting for the back we need a zip for the back so I will leave one inch allowance use your tape or your ruler to confirm it's exactly one inch then you hold the material together with your paint then you trace out this shape don't forget you already have sewing allowances on this first uh, material we cut so automatically the second material has sewing allowances also now this is what we have the next step is to cut the neck usually the basic measurements for cutting a lady's dress neck is three inches three inches breadth 
23 inches length. You place your tape on the material on top. You mark your 3 inches breadth. Then 3 inches length. Then you join together with a curve. This way. You see? But since we want our gown neck to be to be wider, we're going to add one inch to the breadth and one inch. to the length. Then you trace with a curve. If you want a, um, a rectangular or square neck, you use, you use your ruler to draw a line, a straight line for the length and a straight line for the breadth. This is how you get that kind of neck. But for this dress, you want a round neck. So we cut out our neck. Then you make a slant on your shoulder. If you notice, your shoulder isn't straight. So you need a slant to get the accurate measurement of your shoulder. So you cut out. Then you remove your paint. This is our back side. So we are going to split it into two for the space, for the zip space. So you split this into two. In order to get accurate cut, please hold your material with the pin. Hold the edges together with the pin. Then you cut. This is how to cut our sleeveless gown. This is how to cut our sleeveless gown. you enjoy the class please if you do give a thumb up for this video and also remember to subscribe to my channel thank you so the next step is sewing the first step you take in sewing is sewing shoulder to shoulder you put your material to face each other this way you can use your pin to hold. You hold the shoulders together, front and back. Then you have this. This is the first step. You sew shoulder to shoulder. When sewing your shoulder, you sew half inch, half inch, then you sew.
then now this is what you get after join after bending the neck and the arm holes. You see? So neat. This is what you get. Then you join the sides together this way. This way. The next step is putting zip. So our zip is seven and a half inches. Seven and a half inches. So you measure seven and a half inches here where you cut your zip allowance. Then you mark with a chalk or a pin. Then you join the rest part together. Don't forget you left one each allowance for the zip. So you're going to join the one inch allowance together. After which you bend the tip of the gown. You double bend. You double bend the tip of the gown. And that will be all. So this is what we have after inserting the zip. I'm going to give a different tutorial on how to insert a zip in a dress. So after inserting your zip, you bend the tip of the dress this way. You can do a double sewing if you have a material that loses. So this is what we have. I'm going to put this on so you see how the dress looks like. If you have a belt, you can use your belt to support it to give you a very fine look. You see? You see, you can actually stay at home and sleep. You can actually stay at home and create designs for yourself by learning. You need this channel to so this beautiful dress. So please and uh, please, if you have not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button and subscribe to this channel. And also drop a comment for us in the comment section. Don't forget to give a thumb up for this video. Thank you.